for it. Hey everyone, my name is Scott. I'm the guy who created Sandspider.com, and I'm redoing another one of my very first videos. This one is from July 2nd, 2016. Delta Airlines 767-300 First Class from San Diego to Atlanta. But don't get your hopes up. Calling this a first class experience is being generous to say the least. Okay then, <laughs> I'm not really sure what possessed me to record a full time lapse of a complete stranger pacing around on the phone, but I do remember thinking how cool I would look if I got footage of myself walking up to the window to assess the situation. Conclusion? I'm a total dork, of course. Anyway, boarding started right on time here at gate 52, and what you can't hear is me cursing under my breath trying to figure out how to capture smooth boarding footage. You know, I guess I never really appreciated how far image stabilization technology in cameras has come since 2016. If this shaky footage isn't making you feel sick, the realization that Delta used to call this first class just might push you over the edge. Ah yes, cargo shorts and hairy knees in first class. Do I know how to arrive in style or what? Speaking of seeking answers to burning questions, have you checked out the Kobe Explained YouTube channel yet? Kobe is absolutely killing it, making videos about all the questions people have been asking about the commercial aviation industry lately, and I gotta admit, I'm getting hooked. If you want to know why Boeing hasn't re-engined the 757, or how Emirates makes the A380 profitable, do be sure to check out his channel. I don't know, maybe I can convince him to do a full documentary about how cringeworthy hairy knees are in premium airline cabins. <laughs> Those damn knees. Whatever. As far as the rest of this Delta 767 first class cabin goes, it is what it is, and well, at least we had 767 service to San Diego back then. It's nothing but A321s and 737s these days. Here we have some dramatic taxiing out to the runway action, Ace Ventura style. <laughs> Looking at this footage makes me believe that I was over exaggerating things a bit, but hey, you gotta bend the truth just a little to dominate the YouTube algorithm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you dare close that window shade. Thank you. Don't worry. Although it may seem like it, this isn't going to be an entire video of me panning from left to right across the entire cabin. I've got other angles coming up, which I'll get to in a moment, but showing you the back of everybody's head comes first. I know, watching someone peck around at an in-flight entertainment screen is just about as exciting as watching someone wax their car. Therefore, how about doing the Sandspotter patron shout-out thing a little bit early? For those of you who don't know, every single person on this list gets early access to my videos, exclusive content that nobody else can see, and I'm actually working on some Sandspotter merch that they're all gonna get for free. Huge thanks to every single one of you on this list, from Sean Bailey to Joshua Bedell and Riley Wingo. You're all amazing. All right, here we go. I remember thinking how awesome this tray table extraction shot was gonna be, since it was the very first time that I ever did it for one of my reviews, and <laughs> You're actually witnessing Sandspotter history here, folks. Just when you thought I was going for another right-to-left cabin shot, I present to you, wait for it, orange juice. Thankfully, I've got some breakfast footage to show next, but I spent more time showing the details of the stuff you can buy in grocery stores and not the meal itself. 
Shout out to Philadelphia Cream Cheese and Yo Plate Yogurt, I guess. Pretzels were served about three quarters of the way through the flight, which was perfect since I was feeling the itch for another right to left pan coming on. At least I got some footage of the ceiling, which was simply just B-roll to me at the time. Now, here in 2020, it's a nice little flashback to help me remember what the old Delta 767 interiors were like. Nostalgia city, man. I wonder what Neil from the Moments in the Sky YouTube channel was doing on July 2nd, 2016. Neil, if the sight of my scrawny, hairy knees didn't scare you away earlier on in this video, and you're still watching, do us all a favor and let us know in the comment section down below. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Atlanta, where the local time is approximately 1.42 p.m. Please remain seated, and more importantly, do not click off this video yet, because your boy Sandspotter is about to get all weepy and sentimental all up in here. <laughs> You're not going to want to miss that. Well, this is the part where I wrap it all up and give you my final thoughts. However, since these domestic Delta 767s are all gone now and the review is pointless, let me just say this. Even though the footage from this flight wasn't all that great, going back through it all and repackaging it was a bit sentimental. My advice for anyone still watching is this. Record and document what you can as you move through life. Your older self will very much appreciate the effort, and being able to reflect on your past with images and sounds is a fantastic way to focus on what you need to do in order to become a better person going forward. Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.